and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. And today I am going to be going through my Mermaid 2019 sketchbook. Just a little disclaimer, heads up before we get into it. I am treating, well I, I did treat every single one of these as a sketch. A basic sketch. I didn't do a whole lot of erasing, redesigning. I didn't do... I didn't put a lot of time into any of these because I was trying to get these out and done each day around everything else. So just, yeah, heads up. These are not finished pieces. Like, yes, I did at the very least ink them, if not color them in, but they're still sketches. So go easy on me in the comments. Thanks for watching. So for this mermaid, I decide to pick and choose which prompt I was going to do each day from a list. I stopped crossing off this list after the first week, as you can see. Some of them I did the official mermaid 2019 list. Some of them I did the alternate list of prompts that Art Amino community put out. And then a Instagram artist Vicardo, so art comics. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So, like I said, three different prompt lists that I chose from for each day. And what did I use? Well, I tried to keep it really simple because, as I said in the intro, this is sketching. So, I have my trusty Stedler Mars Lumograph pencil in 2H. I have a nice Stedler Mars white eraser and then a collection of pens that live in my travel pencil pen box. I have some of these Marvi Uchida fine liners. I also used my Micron PN. Switch that out a few times with my two Tombow plastic nib ones. I have a two-tone Tombow, a black and a gray. Sometimes filling in big areas of black, it was just helpful to use my uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen in the brush nib. And of course, a Uniball Signo white gel pen. And you will see a couple of my earlier pieces in this sketchbook. Later on, I was going too fast, I give up. Earlier sections I did color in. I have, <laughs> in this cute little Totoro pouch, I have my gel pens. And yes, that is a whole bunch of gel pen refills. And then a couple of these pen bodies that I just put the one I want in there. And I also used the... Uh, Stedler Super Soft Pencils from a recent scrawler box. As I said, I did keep these just sketch quality, so be kind. That was the swatches from when I did the scrawler box. This is the scrawler box from March. <laughs> so for day one, I followed the official, no, sorry, the Artemino list, Butterfly. <laughs> and for day two, I followed the official list, actually, with Rascal. The only thing I could think of for Rascal was a raccoon. I used the dual-ended Tombow, and unfortunately, that and the gel pen did not play nicely together. For day three, Artemino's list, Royalty. So I did a nice, sparkly mermaid with a crown. <laughs> And then, I don't know why I flipped it this way, for day four on the official list was Star Wars, so of course I had to do a Leia hairstyle, and I tried to put a big long robe on it. It looks weird. <laughs> day five, Artemino's list again, musical, so I ended up coloring this kind of Ariel style. It's not actually meant to be Ariel, just happened that way, she's playing some sort of clarinet type thing. <laughs> this one I loved. Also on the Artemino list, number six, Reverse Mermaid, and this was so fun. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to explore this character as a fashion model. <laughs> Day seven on the Artemino list is Coral, so she's got coral hair, coral bra, and coral fins happening. 
On the completely random list that I mentioned, the third list, day eight is Luigi. So I did Luigi. How could I not? Back to the official list, day nine was French Baguette. And excuse the crappy one-tone scribble-in color job, I... I finished the piece and I didn't want to move on to anything else and I wanted to make it clear that I was going for clownfish. I know it's crap. <laughs> day 10 on the official list was tropical. For day 11, over on that completely random list, we had PewDiePie. So I've got PewDiePie with his bro fist going on. And I actually, I posted that to his subreddit and it only got like three likes. So we won't be seeing that in Lawai anytime, but <laughs> had to try. Uh, also on the completely random list, day 12, it was supposed to be specifically your pet, but I was at the cabin when I did this, and I was too lazy to pull up a picture, so I just did a cat in general. <laughs> day 13 on the Artemino list is Pirate. Day 14, also on the Artemino list, is Dragon, and this was a cool creature to design. I'd like to explore this one again. Day 15 was Galaxy on the Artemino list, and I really wish that this was paper that could handle wet media because I feel like I could have got a better result with watercolor, but I think given that I was doing this in a little mixed media sketchbook with craft grade colored pencils, I think that turned out really well. Day 16 on the Artemino list is Folklore, so I did a Scandinavian troll as a mermaid, and I love this guy, he's so much fun. I know my sister is going to scream and run away and turn the video off when we get to this point. Jazz, close your eyes. <laughs> on the random list, day 17 was Deadpool. How could I not do Deadpool? <laughs> And day 18 on the official list is Flight. So I did a pilot mermaid. I know that this the bend in this tail makes no sense. Ignore that. I like the silhouette of it. It, yeah, his legs are broken. <laughs> I was not referencing any particular model, but I think he came out looking like Lee Hawkins as he appears on the Wiggles. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Artemino's listing for day 19 was decayed and I had a lot of fun doing these tatters. I know she looks kind of stiff and her jaws misaligned, but whatever, she's decayed. <laughs> Official list for day 20 was Honey Bee. The tail may end up giving more of a wasp appearance to it. But as you notice, it is a cute and fuzzy honeybee. Day 21, the Artemino list said witchcraft, so I have this witchy little mermaid doing a little salt bay into her cauldron. And one of my absolute favorites, day 22 on the completely random list said bear. And I saw this adorable pose of a polar bear swimming underwater. Probably taken through the window in an aquarium or something, and I just had to turn that into a mermaid. It was so cute! <laughs> Artemino's listing for day 23 said to turn your OC into a mermaid. So this is Gabby, who you've met recently. She is my mascot for that new channel I'm launching, Game and Gad. You've seen her recently. Day 24 on the official list is Shrimp. And I realize they already have a long tail with fins, but this is distinctively a mermaid tail, thank you. Day 25 on the official list is Geek. One of the other two lists had Geek earlier in the month, and I almost did it then. Thankfully, I looked ahead and noticed that the official list was Geek here, so I did it here. And I wasn't going for any person or character in particular, but after I got it drawn, I realized I basically drew my high school friend, Jeff. <laughs> For day 26 on the Artemino listing, the prompt was Carnival, so I drew the strongman type guy you might see at a carnival, and I, I did accidentally fill in his belly button over top of the shirt, which I 
originally didn't plan to put there, but then I went with it and went, you know what, it's skin tight, let's draw some rib lines. <laughs> For day 27, the art amino listing was lure, so I took this opportunity to do an angler fish and kind of elongated him into a mermaid tail, even though it's already a fish. I guess I could have reverse mermaided this one, that would be interesting too. It would be quite top heavy though. Artemino 28th was goddess, so I made a mermaid inspired by the Egyptian goddess Isis. Day 29, Artemino was alien, and I had a lot of fun with this one. At this point, like, I had shown my husband this one, and shown my husband this one, and shown my husband this one, and then I was like, wait a minute, you're drawing them that fast? Yes, yes I was. I was knocking this, the rest of this out of the park the day that I'm showing you this so that I could get it filmed ahead of time. <laughs> On the random list for day 30 was Charlie Chaplin, and I love Charlie Chaplin, so I had to take this one on. I'm not sure this is exactly like Charlie Chaplin, but you know, I I think if you know who Charlie Chaplin is and you see this, you would know that it's Charlie Chaplin, so that, that's good enough, right? <laughs> this was my husband's request. On the completely random list, for the 31st day, the final day, the prompt was Pokemon, so I asked my husband what Pokemon should I do, and he took like 10 minutes Google searching images of Pokemon trying to decide which one he wanted me to do. He actually had two requests, I did both of them. This one was first, and I love it, absolutely love it. He requested Jigglypuff. <laughs> and this is exactly what he was hoping I would do with it. Take the angry Jigglypuff, ready to draw on all your faces after you fall asleep to her singing. His other request, which didn't work quite as well, was Grumpy Charmeleon. But, you know, whatever. So, if you did Mermaid, please link me down below. Tell me how to find your stuff. I would love to see what you did. Uh, have you participated in Mermaid before? Are you going to do it again next year? And of course, there are plenty of prompt lists. You can always do this any time of the year. Yeah, this was fun. This was my first time actually doing Mermaid. Admittedly, it is... What day is it? It is 1 in the morning on the 25th, and I am done because <laughs> I needed to get this filmed ahead of time. That's okay. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I may go back and color some of these now. Some of these really need to be colored. I'm really tempted to get out a nice red marker and color in Deadpool. <laughs> but at least for the line work phase, I am done. And this was a lot of fun. I really challenged myself with the human form aspect on the prompts that lent themselves to be humans. I always tell myself I'm not good with humans and humanoid characters. So this was really good practice and it was really good confidence building. I don't know how well you can see the pencil sketches under here but I really did just break it down into shapes and just go for it. I know the anatomy is not perfect, but it's better than I honestly thought I could do, so that was an interesting discovery. Her head's too big for her body. That's okay. <laughs> it's cartoony. <laughs> her head's supposed to be too big for her body, because this is a chibi character. <laughs> yeah. Good practice, lots of fun, can't wait to do Mermaid again next year, looking forward to Inktober in October. If you know of any really cool uh, long-term challenges that happen between now and then, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you had fun, let me know where to find yours, and I will see you on Thursday.